welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello I have two Pokemon soft toys in front of me Gengar who is my favorite from my teenage days long time ago yes I know and this one who is Chespin I believe someone has stuck his sale price right over his name I believe it is Chespin it looks like Chespin please you know if I've got it wrong Correct me in the comments below. Gengar. Awesome. So this is the back of the boxes showing their artwork. He is the ghost Pokemon, of course. I'm assuming he's one of the new ones. So I'm assuming he's a grass Pokemon. I don't know much about him. They are, of course, official Tomy soft toys. And if you have seen my previous Pokemon videos, you'll know that I love the Pokemon soft toys. They are really, really well made. So we're going to get into them. Um, which one shall I open first? Gengar versus Chespin. Gengar would win. <laughs> Poor Chespin. Um, here we go. Look at this face. And he is so soft. Now, I adore how much detail went into these Pokemon with um, the soft toys with making them. They are so well made and he is so soft and look at that smile. It is, you can just imagine this being a naughty little ghost. <laughs> Ganga. So let's get into him. He looks very easy to get out of his packet. There is a little tag under his foot here. I'm going to cut and poke into the toy. Another one under this one. Going to cut and poke it into the toy. Let's see. There's one more. Oh, it's on his tail. Oh, I shall release you from your bonds. There we go. All right. Poke it into his tail. Wow, look at this guy. So these are actually kind of cool display pieces. Just saying. If you covered this with like um some sort of a wrapping tape, it would uh wrapping paper, you'd have a beautiful display piece there. Or if you want to keep the box for your toys, hey, go ahead and keep the box. I always think toys look cooler out of their boxes. And a toy in a box always looks like it wants to escape to me. <laughs> I'm gonna play with it. <laughs> so let's have a look. He has claws, he has arms, legs, spiky head, and this beautiful face, which obviously makes him up. Check it out. That is coolness right there. Now, let's turn him around. He has the Gengar spikes all the way down. He's almost like a dinosaur in some respects. He has, is it the Stegosaurus dinosaur that has these spikes down? He kind of like that sort of effect down his back. They've been so well stitched. Like, you can feel how strong the stitching is just going across them and they've been stuffed full and here's his little tail with the tag I'll pull that out here of course is his tags underneath showing that he is an official Tomy Pokemon he feels so neat I don't know this new fur they've made these new furs that they're just unbelievable and here to touch they're just so soft so I love this toy. This is a definite toy. Now, hey, kids, if you want advice on how to keep your toys beautiful, don't stick them on your bed where you sleep on them. I know it's nice to cuddle your toys, but if you want to keep them in great condition, we have a special place in our each of my kids' rooms called the Toy Hug the toy room, uh, the toy soft room, and it's a special place where they put all their soft toys at night and all their toys look like they've just been brought because if you sleep with them, I know you always pick one which you cuddle and it becomes manky and all that sort of stuff, but if you want a beautiful toy like this to stay absolutely gorgeous, put it in a special place at night time where you, on a, you know, on a chair in your room or something so it doesn't get the fur doesn't get crushed and he just stays beautiful. Of course, if you just want to cuddle him and make him manky, go ahead. Make me manky. <laughs> I love this toy. All right, let's bring out this monster here. He is huge. Look at my hand. Yeah. It doesn't even cover his face. He is like giant chest pin. On size, he would beat Gengar, but on um, strength, not so much, I imagine. I believe he is a basic Pokemon. It says X and Y down here. I'm not up to date with all the Pokemon things. My daughter is. Let's see if we can get him out of this box easy. Oh, he's got actually big ties going across his feet, so I'm going to try and snip those without hurting him. Sorry, chest pin. I don't want to hurt you. I want you to stay beautiful. Otherwise, my daughter will hit the roof. Mommy, you broke a toy. How could you? Oh God, let me try this angle. Ah, ah, they really don't want you to get him out of here. 
Hmm. Brain tank. Um. Maybe I'll try the one on the other side. Maybe it's the angle I have them at at the moment. It's making it hard for my little. Aha! Freedom! Freedom! Pokemon rights! Woohoo! Ah, ah, yes! We have freedom for poor Chespin from the bonds that have been holding him. Oh, and there's one on his tail. Let's see if we can just slip his tail out. Woohoo! He is free. So there you go. Two ties around his feet and one around his tail. Here is the box, of course. Here's the back. Um, there isn't much artwork on the sides. Basically, it's just him on the back. Chespin! I don't know if that's his actual way he says his name. But he kind of looks like a chess man. I'm trying to get him all on camera. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you know it's a good thing when you when you can't get the whole toy in camera. Alright, I'm gonna move my camera. I have a pretty high-powered camera. Um I actually have to take my videos down in quality to try and upload them because it's a high quality camera. Let's have a look at him all around. Look at the even the details on the feet. There is a little sole part on his feet with his two toes coming up. He looks a tiny bit shop soiled and that obviously a lot of kids have put their fingers over him and touched him which is understandable. Um, where the ties went over his feet they've left a huge dent in his feet. They've tried to do it so it's along the sewing line but it's come down into the white a bit and I wish they would, because it's a white soft toy, I wish they would have put some sort of covering over his feet so it wouldn't have got those dirty finger marks on it. But that's all right, I will get a cleaning cloth and clean it off. My daughter's quite fussy on all her toys, I've said that in a few videos, and she loves them to stay pristine. And we have a special, as I said before, we have a special spot where her toys actually sit. So when she plays with them, she's very, very careful. She doesn't like her. There's one bear which goes to sleep with her every night, but all her other toys... Um, and Star Song used to sleep with her every night, but all her other toys sit in a special, what we call the soft toy alcove, and there is hundreds in there, and they look absolutely amazing. And they're all beautiful. Look, I don't know what that is, but he seems to have a dot on the back. He's got this orange point on his tail, and then there's a dot on his back. <laughs> is that a special move he does? Can anyone explain this little dot? <laughs> it's, I, it's the same color as his arms. But I don't see any reason. Maybe it's part of the nut. Is that a nut on his head? It looks to me like to be like grass. I, I just can't say. The amount of detail in these toys is beautiful. Look at all this grass. It's all individually sewn. They haven't done a big clump of it together. They've made each one individual and then place it together. Like It's just beautiful. The amount of sewing involved in this. Then he's got his headpiece here. Oh, can you take this off him? What is it? Okay, it only goes so far back. But it's it's like he's wearing a beanie hat. He He's wearing a beanie nut on his head. And look at this face. Honestly. He doesn't look like Genga who wants to eat your soul. This guy looks like he's saying, Hack me, please. Hack me. Love me. Somebody love me. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I brought him home. We'll take care of those naughty marks on you. And we will look after you. So again, Pokemon toys are amazing, especially the official ones with the tags. I've seen, I've actually gone to some of the dollar stores and seen fake Pokemon. If you're buying the fake Pokemon, you're better off paying the extra $20 to $30 and getting something of this quality because this is a toy that is going to last and it's absolutely amazing. It's not cheaply made, it is going to last He is just beautiful and I, I can't say the size Look at my hands, you know. He's taller than two of my hand spans. He's just amazing. So, hey, love this guy, but he doesn't make me love him as much as this guy because I love this guy. I'm going to eat your soul. Jasmine! <laughs> if you love Pokemon soft toys, please give this video a thumbs up. And I will keep trying to find beautiful Pokemon soft toys. They do seem to sell really fast here at the moment. Um, they're either extremely expensive, I think this guy was originally, I think this guy here, what was his original price? This guy was originally $70 and I got him down to $47 and this guy was originally $39 and I think I got him down to $29 which is fine. So they aren't cheap soft toys but hey, their work, the quality is what matters, the quality is what's going to last and official toys keep their value. 
fakes. Once that someone knows they're fakes, they're worth nothing. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Bye.